Imagine resolving a hostile hostage situation in the middle of a war without putting any additional lives at risk. An Israeli developer just created a robot that aims to help. Robots are becoming more common in war-torn areas. My 24 News senior defense correspondent Shai ben -Ari reports. They're here, in case you hadn't noticed. These days, robots are all around us, and they're becoming increasingly common on the modern-day battlefield, where they've even started to take part in the fighting. This is the Dogo. It's a counter-terrorism robot developed by General Robotics for use in urban environments. As you can see, this guy's a bit on the small side, but he packs a serious punch. This Dogo is armed with a Glock pistol inserted in its body. After you click the standard weapon into it, you can remote control it very easily from our remote control user interface. We've integrated into their point and shoot technology, meaning that whenever you see a target, you can automatically direct the weapon in less than a second towards the target, just by clicking on the target on screen. The Dogo's small size and maneuverability mean it is ideally suited for counter-terrorism scenarios, such as hostage situations like the attack on a Jewish grocery in Paris in 2015, or the 2013 standoff in a Nairobi, Kenya shopping mall. Its developers say the Dogo can resolve these situations quicker than human counterterrorism units and with fewer casualties. The mission of, of the Dogo is to go ahead of our special forces to save lives. It's, it's, uh, it's being used like an extension of the soldier. It's, it shows the soldier what's happening in the dangerous places all around him and it gives the uh, soldier the ability to operate and engage the target from remote control. The Dogo is already being used by different counterterrorism units worldwide, including the Israeli police. The Israeli army is also making use of military robots, and a government minister even said recently that robots would soon be able to take out Hamas leaders in Gaza. Robots are not for killing people. The rise of armed robots has sparked a protest movement, with activists highlighting concerns that things could slip out of control. Do we really want to delegate the right to take a human life to a machine? Do we? There's also the danger of robots being hacked. General Robotics say their systems are heavily encrypted. We've even hired the best hackers in the world to try and hack the Dogo. They couldn't hack it even after working on it for hours. We asked how we can be sure the robots won't take over one day. Well, the Asimov law, I guess, that's all. Science fiction writer Isaac Asimov prescribed three laws of robotics in his work. The first, a robot may not harm a human being. The second, a robot must obey orders given by human beings. And the third, a robot must protect itself, so long as this does not conflict with the first two laws. In the case of the Dogo, the decision to open fire is always a human one. It won't happen so fast that we'll have like Terminator robots here. What's happening now, I think, is quite the opposite. It's, it's robots that are working together with the soldiers. They're being used like an extension of the soldiers, and already robots are being used to save life of soldiers. So I think it's a, it's a process. And as long as we do that process diligently, it will save lots of lives.